This is Lupo. He, has re he is very reactive to people very reactive to people. He flips out when people come into the owner's house. Um, I've known him for quite a long time. It's been a difficult process to get this guy good with people at their house and here. So we've got someone he hasn't met. I'm gonna show you the process. The process may be, you've seen me do it before, treat the dog from the person. Treats from the scary stimulus as I call it. It's a big deal. Tossing treats to the dog, you want the dog to see people, men, kids, whoever they're scared of to, as treat delivery systems, right? This is fearful dog stuff. Lupo has pretty deep issues, okay? So treats from the person might help. It also might help for me to go, sit down, it's enough. Those are two very different methods. You can't be married to either one of those. The treats thing will sometimes just not work. The sit your butt down method sometimes just won't work. You need both those. One's discipline, one's positive reinforcement, right? One's classical conditioning, one is operant conditioning. Classical conditioning is the treat stuff. All right, so here we go. Lupo, come. Good, I'm just gonna get him some treats. And over here, Tyler, go ahead and come on in. Sit, sit, stay. Good, I got the leash, good. Good check in with me right there. Good job, Tyler, stay right there, please. And he looks pretty good. He usually freaks out. Tyler, will you walk over by the camera? Sit down. Good, just movement can sometimes trigger a dog. And back over here, Tyler. Stay. Uh-uh. There's the discipline part. Sit down. <clears throat> just because a dog's like a little nervous, which he isn't, doesn't mean you can't be like, sit your butt down and stay there. Sit. The knee block, he can't get up. You're okay, sit, you're okay. Will you toss a treat on the ground? Perfect. And toss a treat. Good, so he's into it, right? And toss a treat. Good. And toss a treat. You can't do too many treats. Chicken is the best. Boiled chicken, and she's out of it. Good. <laughs> sit down. Right? five treats she gave, and then he just decided to like do this weird air bark. I gave a correction after that. Of course I'm gonna give a correction. It's enough. She just gave you five treats. She's a nice person. Does she look like someone breaking into his house? This isn't even his house. No, she's great. And he's like, I just feel like barking. I don't care what you feel like doing. It's enough. He's got, I said deep, right? I told you deep issues. You can't bark at her. She's a guest. Stay. We're gonna keep doing this. Ready, toss treat. So we're using both, right? We're using the treats and we're using the discipline. Sit, toss treat. Do, do you think that Tyler should be feeding treats from her hand? No, after that little freak out for no reason, toss treat, thank you, good listening. Do you think that Lupo's ready for that? Absolutely not. Good, and toss a treat. Now this is when he barked before. I don't even know what happened. She didn't move, I don't think. Look at he acts like he likes her, then he's just gonna bark in the air, growl. He looked at right at her and growled. It's not cool. They need to be corrected for that stuff. We're being nice and we're having discipline. Toss a treat. Good, will you leave and come back in? Sometimes the dogs bark when the person leaves. And right when you come in, I want you to treat. Like take two steps in, close the door and treat. This is the big one, when someone shows up. And treat. Look it, Lupo's looking like, oh, where's the treats, lady? That's what you want from your dog. Person came in, where's my treats? And then eventually the person doesn't have the treats. Go on, toss. Perfect, now I'm letting Lupo be in front. I'm acting calm, because I am calm, look at my Leash distance. Lupo can't get to her if he tried. Lupo can now get to her if he tried. You can't be here. You can't be here. Look at his body language as soon as I tightened it up. His whole body actually changed. His ears perked up and he got more defensive. It was very subtle, but it was there. You want here. He can't get to her. I'm solid. Am I like this? Am I in flip flops? And gonna, with my legs like this where I can get pulled over? 
No, but I'm chill too, but sturdy. All right, Lupo, come. You can train a bed behavior for people coming over, but what I did was, was absolutely fine. So this is barky dogs. I don't want to, I don't even want to say fearful. I've known Lupo for a long time. Lupo has been doing this for a long time. It's deep in his brain to just freak out and uh, bark at people for almost no reason. Okay. So we did treats from Tyler. That was good. I did the, what really probably worked. It was probably the correction. Actually, that correction was like poppy and he went, Oh yeah, sorry. And then we continued with the treat. So that's, that's barking at people. That's the treat method. And that's the discipline method with the corrections, short poppy corrections, All right? If you have a nervous dog, if you have a barky dog, if you have a fearful dog, if you have a bold dog that just wants to bark at people, this is a good method in your house, dog on leash, have your person prep to come in and have treats and you can do this process.